Hello, this is Mr. Quackwack, and today I am playing on the Rivercraft server once again. And between episodes, uh, well, I started getting a little bit of diamond armor. And as well, yeah, I got a fortune enchantment. I think I did say this last episode. Whatever, if I did, I did. So now I have two diamond pickaxes, a couple pieces of armor, and I built a bamboo farm that is flawed which I'll show you why it's really flawed here in a second so yeah it's pretty massive here well, I'll just activate it this is why it is flawed look at how much doesn't get into the collection area and I just fell in so like, look, if I just run across this entire thing here I'm just gonna be collecting up so many stacks of course, I don't know if it's on the rail, so it'll get collected at some point. But like here, no, that's not getting collected. I run across here. There is a lot that's not getting collected here. So, if I just keep walking along this, like I just keep collecting up even more that can't be collected by the minecarts up here. Run across this as well. It doesn't look like that's going to help with collection either when the minecart is stopped. Probably something with chunks and stuff getting loaded and unloaded and everything like that. So, I'll go get that started in a second. So, we just get over. Should get back all good to go. And that's why that thing hasn't collected any yet. Like, so this is the amount of collected that the minecarts didn't. Of course, there's probably around half and half with it. I can just turn this all into six now. So, so here I can just go grab out when it's empty. Grab out my 41 there. Yeah, it's taking forever. I'll just say send it. And yeah, that's, there's, so there is some issues with the entire farm here. Back. Uh, that thing just barely makes it here. Does it? So. No. Oh, didn't have to do that very fast since I grabbed a decent chunk of it. If I just take that. It's in there. So that's pretty much all I was able to get out of that there. So. Yeah, it wasn't really that much. Okay, so with the uh, flaw of this farm, I got a couple of easy ways of fixing it. So, big one, like, basically there's only truly one way, is basically place iron bars all the way up to where I want the bamboo to grow, and blocks on the inside all the way up. So currently I got myself a lot of iron bars, because it's about, um, it's like 50 some blocks uh, long. So basically requires close to a stack for each one, and it's 15 tiles. So I'm probably gonna have to go get myself some more, but that ain't a big deal to me. So one, two, three. We're just gonna start at this. All right. And if I just go across like this, so I'll try to get this entire farm fixed here. Okay. So now I went in. There's a fixing the farm. Uh, I only made it where now it's probably like just being having it be like two blocks from the bottom of it and now it's ten blocks up there. So there's still some loss but not near as much. It picks up a lot more. And there's still like one more problem to it here. Then when these minecarts get full one thing I did not know is that the minecart actually seems to get slower and it doesn't work near as well. Which is really kind of annoying. Let's see. So like when it gets full, like then it would stop somewhere, and it's like, seriously, it's just really annoying. But it's something that really annoys me. I just don't have that much gold to do it. Like for me, the best way to get gold is to head to the Nether. Let's head to the Nether right now. I don't have. I really don't want to die since I have some 
decent stuff. But, yeah, we'll give it a go. Here in another. And there's a good old guest. We do not need the guests to try to kill me. There's kind of like a weird little glitch that happened there where, it, like, I heard the nether portal break, but the nether portal's still there, and I will be mad if it's not there. Now, yeah, look at this, there's a cat. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Nether roof's up there, there's a portal up there, but there's no point being in a nether roof, because, well. There's no good be gold, no gold there. <laughs> so, oh, let's head down here. Let's see if I can find some more stuff. Uh, oh, ghastly boy. Really good. Could technically come right down here and do this, but I don't see no gold near it. Useful, maybe. maybe for that. I don't know, probably shouldn't. Slowly is when I don't want to try to run the risk of it. Um, where would be a good area to run off to? There's some glowstone there, but I don't feel like trying to get that. Okay, so now I'm here back in the overworld, and now there's Hux Husk tasking me. Well, I'll go get rid of this here. Okay, but as I say, I'm back in the overworld here. And I haven't, oh man, completely finished fixing my farm here. But there's something kind of different I want to do right now. I want to go get the Caves and Cliffs Advancement. Yeah, that's a lot of scaffolding up there and it keeps going. And that goes down to Bedrock. But what I'm going to do, I'm not going to have water down there. So I'm going to, on the way down, I'm going to place, try to place water there. To catch my fall. So that's probably gonna result in me dying a couple times, of course. But nah, that's how it goes. Take a couple blocks, maybe. Uh, well, yeah, I, uh, I should make probably make a little chest to take off all my gear and stuff here. Well, actually, we can. Uh, yeah, I need a chest. Oops, Ah, it works for some of my valuable stuff for right now. Put my good gear down and right here. Oh, and so when I was digging it, because I go down to Bedrock, I got some diamond ore. And this is normal diamond ore. This stuff is really rare now, ever since 118. Like, really rare. Really rare it is. Which is really awesome shield in here as well and sword that's practically dead all right rails are practically useless we'll just put away some of my redstone components as well all right well okay so now it's time to try to start heading up well to try it out here so i only get to head straight up there so let's start heading up here it's gonna be a long track up there Okay, and now we're up here. We are. It's straight down here. Straight down. So I think my strategy here is just going to be like to try to get. P uh, ah, yeah, let's see. We're, we're a limit. Yeah. All uh, right. Get perfect timing on it. Like, time it just perfectly on it. I think that's going to be my first try here. Ready? So, here goes. Nothing. Free falling. Of course, there's going to be a high chance that I missed the hole. And no. Mr. Quack Quack fell from a high place. Let me open it. There we go. Grab 
have another bucket out. Alright, now let's get some more water and try it again here, of course. Well, water. Okay. Now I get to head over here again, and we get to try it again. So, let's head up it again. Okay, and now I'm back here up at the top of this again. So this time I'm gonna try to spam quick the water bucket to try to land this. So I jump in and free falling. Yeah, I think hopefully I might be pressing the wrong button. Hopefully, maybe I don't know. I think I was pressing the wrong button there. Oh, you need a little bit of iron to try again. I really think I was pressing the wrong button on that run. It's like, right at the important time, I kind of blank out on it. Yeah, I was pressing the wrong button. Yep, that entire one, I was pressing the entire wrong button. Well, get to try it again here. Head up it a third time. Okay, and now we are up here ready for trial three. Yeah, I got the right button. And I'm going to be trying to spam click it here to try to get better. So, and we're free falling. I'm spamming it already. And, ah, missed it. Either I'm not good at it. Uh, I don't know I'm good at how good I am at this. Well, this is why I'm not using my armor down here as well. Obviously. I am going to get the advancement. I really just... I'm better at uh, clicking faster with my left hand. And while well, a mouse is generally always in your right hand. So, yeah. We'll see how this works here. So, heading it up it oh, once more. Okay, and now we're up here for trial number four. Let's see, we might be able to do it this time. It's nighttime currently. Spamming it as fast as I can. Missed, I didn't get it. Of course I didn't get it. Eh, I really want to get this advancements here. It's something I really want to get done with it. Uh, I might just jump down there. Sleep first, of course. God, it's night time. I might just jump, well, go down there, place a water bucket, and then, and then jump from the top, because I want the advancement. I'm never, I have not been able to do a bucket clutch before. Is it because I'm bad at the game, or I don't know. Could be either one. Who knows? That's not bucket clutching, that's this ladder. I'm just using the ladder going down this, obviously. Alright, and now we get to head on up the entire thing again. Well, uh, maybe this game doesn't want me to do the easy way of getting this advancement. Uh, as well. Yeah, I end up falling off the entire ladder thing here. Yep. Well, set up it again. Oh, of course. Okay. 
And yeah, now we're arriving at the top here. And we're up at the top. And watch, the game's gonna now have me, well, I'm gonna mess up and not even go down that hole there. I'm gonna land on the side of it and die there. Okay. But, okay, time to free fall. What? Uh, I just I, I guarantee I don't have this advancement, do I? No, I don't. I tested this out in a, in a different world. I, I've done tested this out in a different world. Um, we're gonna mine this really slowly. Yeah, it works. Okay, well that's as slow as it can go there. So. That's negative 61, that's negative 60, okay. Okay, let's give it a go. Of course, the long time the game lets me go up, of course. Okay, and now we're back here up at the top here. So now if I just line myself up perfectly here, like press shift and do this, this should make it where I land perfectly in the water down here, down at the bottom. So it should work perfectly. And yes, we got the advancement. We have the caves and cliff, cliff, caves and cliffs advancements. So free fall from the top of the world, the build limit, to the bottom of the world and survive which is awesome so now let's just head it back head right back on up so yeah all right and now i am back here and as you might see i have got myself some actual tools now some numb and stuff so i've had this pickaxe before but I have a sword with mending, sharpness 5, unbreaking 3. Everything has mending and unbreaking, so I don't even need to list it. So this has silk touch efficiency with it. Fortune efficiency. Breaking. Well, nah, silk touch, silk touch. And uh, uh, protection 4. Aqua affinity, protection 4. And feather falling 4. And and protection for so I actually got myself some uh, gear now so I'm in decent gear so yeah now I'm probably much better off now but one thing I definitely want now is a Elytra which of course I'm not gonna take myself with me I'm not gonna risk it uh, I'm not gonna risk any of this stuff that'd be stupid to do so I'd probably take with me some uh, iron armor go get some, get an elytra. It's like, yeah, there's no way I'm gonna risk all this good stuff. I put in a lot of time to get it. Like I did a lot of trading with the villagers. I had to get myself into one of those, of course. Basically what I do is, uh, I don't have one of them. Buy, grow those massive spruce trees. I'll show you what one of them looks like. We'll see if it's a massive one or not. Well, I gotta be able to get a stack of logs there. I'm able to turn it all into planks and it all into sticks there and gets a ton of emeralds through it, which is really good. Uh, this, uh, this is actually, oh, uh, yeah, it's actually a decent sized one right there. But yeah, that's what one of the uh, big spruce trees look like. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to go get myself. And Elytra. I don't know how well it's gonna work, but uh, we can always try it. Oh, okay, and there we go. Now I got myself a Elytra, as you can see right here. We're in a nice section of an Elytra once again. I can actually. There we go. I can actually go and fly around now. 
It's actually nice. Be able to do stuff in this game easier now and get around much quicker. Like, it used to take forever to get to this iron farm over here. Okay. Oh, this is. I have really limited rockets currently. It's like. But to get home, back to my base, or even get down from it, I can just glide. Really nice. Oh, and because I have this super epic cape, my elytra looks even better. Looks awesome. And I'm currently stuck. Alright, let's find a way out here. There we go. I wouldn't have found that out there at all. If I stayed on there. Elytras look kind of boring without having a cape. This is why having a cape is awesome. So yeah, I know I have gotten an elytra, so this is all the time I have for this e for this episode. So this is Mr. Quack Quack, and until next time.